Hello everyone, Reza here. AI Copilot in Power Apps is now available inside the Power Apps Studio experience. This allows us to build and continue editing our Power App by simply describing our actions that we need to take in natural language and the AI Copilot will spring into action and perform the updates in the app for us. So let's check out this new experience in action. We can create an app through conversations by leveraging the Maker Copilot feature. We can simply describe the needs of our app in everyday words. For the demo, I'll pick one of the suggestions track sales leads, submit, and the Copilot experience lights up in the right-hand side panel. AI suggests a table based on the description that I provided for the app I would like to build. We can modify this suggested table. We can change the table name. We can add columns, remove columns, add sample data, and a lot more. And once we are ready, we can click create app. And this will begin the process of creating that table in Dataverse and creating a single screen, fully responsive canvas power app. And this is the app that it has generated. Now the new copilot feature is the ability for us to continue editing our app with the help of Copilot powered by AI. We can tell Copilot what changes we need to make to our app in simple language and let AI do the work for us. We've got some suggestions here to begin with like add a label or a gallery or a button. So let's start with add a new screen. And we can see that Copilot has gone ahead and added a new screen. I have the ability to undo this action since AI generated content may be incorrect. Let's try adding a label. It's added a label control and also updated its text property. We can also add things in bulk. For example, add four buttons. We can also perform bulk editing, change fill of all buttons to orange. Now notice it only changed the one button that I had selected. AI generated content can be incorrect. So I always have the option to undo. I can select multiple controls change fill for selected buttons to orange. And in one go, Copilot has made the updates. The suggestions that are provided, we can refresh and get an idea as to what are the different actions that the Copilot could potentially perform for us. Currently, please note, modern controls are not supported. Now let's ask Copilot to add an email screen. So Copilot will build a screen that will allow us to send an email. It's created the screen for us to send an email. I would like to come to the screen from my main screen. Now the main screen is built with responsive container controls. I can select the specific container in which I would like to add controls and I can provide that information to the Copilot. Add a button to the selected container. Change text of selected button to send email. Now on select of this button, I would like to navigate the user to my email screen, which is called screen two. I'll select the button and my prompt will be, on click of selected button, navigate to 
screen two. And we can see that it's gone ahead and updated the on select property for the specific button. And we can see it in the properties pane right here, the formula. If I preview the app, if I click send email, I land in the email screen. Now for this screen, I would like to add a button to take the user back to the previous screen. So add a button in screen to take user back to previous screen. And it's gone ahead and added a new button. The on select property has been changed. It's set to the function back. I'll ask Copilot to change the selected button color to gray and change the selected button text to back. I'll reposition some controls on the screen. If I preview the app and select back, takes me back to the previous screen. So just like that, I have a screen that can send an email and I can go back to my main screen that shows all the information about my sales leads. Now Copilot can make changes to my app, but at the same time, it can also help answer questions. For example, what is Power Apps? And Copilot goes about describing what Power Apps is or how to call flow from Power Apps. Plus, if you ask it specific questions that it cannot perform any app building actions for us, it will fall back to Q&A. This is a direct question about how to call a flow from Power Apps. And we can see that Copilot provides step-by-step -step guidance on how that can be potentially performed. Very useful when you're trying to learn about different PowerFX functions. For example, explain the patch function. It goes about explaining what the function does, its syntax, and a lot more. Or how can I share my Power App with external users? Copilot is your friend. It's working with us throughout the journey, helping us create the table, helping us create the app. And now with Copilot and the studio experience, it can work with us to answer questions and make changes to our app. Now the new Copilot experience in Canvas Studio works for existing apps as well and new apps. Let's say I need to build a power app that is connected to a SharePoint list. And this is an app that I would like to build from scratch. So I'll start with a blank canvas app, tablet form factor. I'll click add. The studio experience lights up. And on the right hand side, my co-pilot is ready to work with me. In my app, I can easily connect to any data source of my choice. Currently, I'm connecting to SharePoint, connect to my SharePoint site, and connect to my SharePoint list. Now I want to create a screen based on the screen templates that are provided. I can always select new screen and pick the templates. But I can also ask Copilot to do it. Add a new screen with sidebar. And it's gone ahead and created a new screen which has the responsive container controls. Let's select the header container. My next prompt is to set fill of selected container to blue. And it's gone ahead and updated the fill property. Add label to selected container. That's the label. Change color of selected label to white. Change the text of the selected label to discount request app. And so and so forth. On the left nav, I would like to show all my sales discount requests. So I'll select the sidebar container and state add a gallery to the selected container. Goes ahead, adds the gallery. 
I can directly connect it to my SharePoint list. I can open the properties of the gallery, pick different styles. And just like that, the sidebar container shows the data directly from my SharePoint list. Now there are various AI based capabilities baked in directly into the studio experience. As an example, this label control that shows the discount. Here, we have the options of adding conditional formatting or text formatting via AI. Let's try text formatting. Currently, it shows the number, which is the discount. I would like to show this as 14%. That's my desired format. And notice AI suggests an expression. That's a power FX formula for me that I can simply select and apply. And just like that, you can see the label is representing the data in the format that I defined. Now I need a form control so the user can edit or add data into my SharePoint list. My next prompt, add a form control to selected container. And this time I picked the main container. So it adds the form control. My data source is called sales discount requests. Connect selected form control to sales discount requests list. And we can see how it's added the data source exactly to this connection. Now I can go to the edit properties and add the fields. I have selected the columns from my list that I would like to add as part of the form control. I would like to show this in a one column format. Now, if I need the copilot back, click copilot and the copilot panel is back for me. Now here I have a gallery and a form control and I want to connect the two. So here's my prompt. Can you connect the gallery to, so I'm being extremely specific to form one. Let's try this. The item property of the form has been modified by the copilot. If we explore the item property, it's gallery two dot selected. So if I preview the app, when I make a selection in the gallery, the form will show the respective column details for that selected item. Now let's add a submit button to the main container. Add submit button to selected container. Now notice I haven't selected the container, so I need to ensure that I have the right context. So add a button to selected container and copilot adds the button. Change selected button text to submit. I will center align the button in the container. Now on click of button, I want to submit the form. So let's try that. On click of button, submit form one. Now observe it was not able to take the action. Not every property or action is currently supported. However, I know that Copilot can also help answer questions. So here I will ask how to submit edit form control data. And Copilot will walk me through the steps of how that can be performed. So on select property of the button, it says submit form and the name of the form. So let's try that submit form and my form, which is form one. If I preview the app, I'll select Contoso. I'll change the discount to 25 and submit. And just like that, the discount rate is changed and the same changes are being reflected in my backend data source as well. Let's pick the main section container, add a button again to this container. 
this button, the text I've set to new, and I will reorder this to sit right at the top. Now, when this is clicked, I would like to set the form to new mode, wherein the user can create a new record. So once again, I'll simply ask Copilot call new form function and provide the name of the form. So if I preview, if I click new, now I can submit a new record to my data source. I'll put the title, pick a product, specify the discount, total amount, effective date, submit, and here comes the new record in my gallery. Now this is a screen that has the responsive container control. So if I try and view this, let's say on an iPhone X, my app is not set up for responsive design yet. Let's ask that as well to Copilot. And Copilot will walk me through the steps. One of the key things I need to do is change the property scale to fit to off. So I will go to the settings of the app, display, turn off scale to fit. Now if I preview the app and let's say I try iPhone X, you can see how the app is responsive in nature as the controls are moving and aligning themselves based on the real estate that is available. Can even change the orientation of the device to see how the app would function on different devices and different orientations. So there you go, a simple app connected to a data source. I worked with Copilot all the way. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.